Along the 450 kilometer stretch of land between Timmins, Ontario and Val d'Or in Quebec, otherwise known as the Porcupine Destor Fault Zone, are 110 million ounces of historic gold production. At the eastern end of this vast mineral belt lies the Val d'Or mining camp, which alone has produced 18 million ounces of gold. 30 kilometers to the east of the city of Val d'Or, the Valley of Gold, lies Upper Canyon Minerals Brosnor Gold Project. The project area totals 923 hectares and is intersected by a major highway. Brosnor enjoys all the infrastructure typically found in a world-class mining jurisdiction, including easy access to a workforce, power and water, and support from the Quebec government. For every dollar spent on exploration on the project, the government of Quebec returns 40 cents to the company. There are numerous mills located nearby with capacity to custom mill. Upper Canyon is investigating the potential of custom milling to handle the 5,000 ton bulk sample on the project and future underground ore as well as existing stockpiles. Exploration has outlined several prominent anomalies on the project including the Adelmont Zone, the Norcourt Zone and the Vermont Zone. In 1986, a 680-meter decline was completed into the Adelmont Zone to allow for access for exploration vehicles to a depth of 100 meters. Drifts were also completed to provide access for drilling into the nearby Norcourt Zone. Drilling at Brosnor dates back to 1945, with 209 holes completed through 1987. In 1985, a historic non-43101 compliant resource estimate was completed on the project, totaling 215,000 tons, grading 4.82 grams per ton gold in the Adelmont zone. Another 262,000 tons, grading 4.82 grams per ton gold, were reported in the Norcourt zone. With these early positive results, the Brosnor project demonstrated excellent potential for further exploration. However, in the late 1980s, due to the falling price of gold, Brosnor was abandoned. It took over a decade of depressed gold prices before the potential value of the Brosnor project once again became eminently clear. In 2007, with the price of gold primed to breach $1,000 per ounce again, Upper Canyon was able to acquire the Brosnor project. Drilling by Upper Canyon between 2008 and 2011 has confirmed and expanded on past successes. The company has completed 14 holes on Adelmont, 15 holes at Norcourt, and 7 drill holes at Vermont. Adelmont has multiple mineralized zones starting from a depth of approximately 58 meters. The zone is approximately 100 meters long and is mineralized to a depth of 300 meters. Assays range from 3.15 meters grading 5.73 grams per ton gold in hole 0810. An interval 16 meters lower intersected 3.3 meters, grading 4.35 grams per ton gold. Adelmont plunges to the west and is open at depth. The Norcourt and Vermont zones are similarly mineralized with multiple zones down hole. In Norcourt, drill hole 1123 had six mineralized zones, starting from a depth of 135 meters. The Norcourt zone, which trends east-west, remains open to the east and also at depth. The Vermont zone has at least three significant gold-bearing intervals, with grades ranging from 1.6 meters grading 30.93 grams per ton gold at a depth of just 26 meters, to 4 meters grading 2.86 grams per ton gold at 99 meters depth. The Vermont zone, which also trends east-west, remains open to the east and west and at depth. The Adelmont and Norcourt gold occurrences are located along a major east-southeast-west-northwest trending structure. Directly along Strike, less than one kilometer to the west of the Adelmont zone and just outside the western limit of the Brosnor property lies the Monique deposit. Drilling by Richmond Mines at Monique has returned excellent grades of 6.8 grams per ton over 21.3 meters. 2012 has the makings of a watershed year for Upper Canyon Minerals. In March, the company plans to start the dewatering of the decline with the intention of completing a 5,000 ton bulk sample. Two drill programs are slated for the Adelmont, Norcourt and Vermont zones. This drilling has been designed to confirm historic drilling, define known mineralization, and also to test new possible mineralized extensions. 
Additionally, new 3D modeling will be completed, along with more IP surveys for areas of known mineralization. All this will lead to an initial resource estimate, which the company expects to begin by Q4 2012.